Hi everybody, welcome to Tips and Tricks, and today we're going to talk about our favorite apps and our favorite podcasts. We did this one time pre-COVID in the office here, and it really was a huge success. So I think those of us who are here are excited to see how successful it can be today, and I sure, I'm sure it will be. Um, so I think what I'll do is maybe call on people. Would you, was that a good, or any, okay, Patrice, will you start us out? Uh, sure, wait, wait, Debbie, wait, wait. I wanted to know who was question. there. Patrice, Sorry, can you hold it? Sure. Um, Kathy, uh, can you see the participants list? Yes, I can see yeah. the participants list and I can name who is here. So maybe she could call on people going down the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a great idea. Thank yeah. you, Bob. So I see we have all well, the people we have in Santa Cruz. We have Bob, baby, and I just forgot the name. Holly. Holly, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, very bad yes. name. We have Holly, and online we have Patrice, we have Donna, we have Perla, we have Roberto, and then we have Andres Aifa. Andreas, I don't know who Andrea is. I don't know if it's Roberto two times, or we have another Andrea. No, hi, I'm Andrea. Oh, I'm Andrea here. Hi. Hi. Okay, so that's everybody we have online and okay. in person. All right, so would you like to call out the people then one by one? That would be That's a great idea, Bob. Okay, so we have Patrice. Okay, want to start us out, Patty? Sure. <laughs> I just want to say, I just got back from the dentist and my teeth are so clean. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mighty pretty smile there, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just ate a raspberry. It's probably all wrecked. Um, you know, I think I, the, the, this seems, I think I'm going to be way behind the times with this, but something happened to me this week with bard and i somehow and i think bevy you told me about this but bard mobile i somehow subscribed to a series and of books you know that written in a series and i got an email this week saying oh the next book in that series has been put in your um your uh what's <laughs> wish list uh, so you mm -hmm. can get it anytime you want and I was like, what the heck? That was smart. Why don't I do that more often? So <laughs> I think I think what I would say is the thing I would really recommend is Bard Mobile changes and there are more and more uh, little um, options you can pick up and they make your life much easier. And I was shocked that it was so together that they would know and send me an email and um so i want to i want to uh say that bard mobile is a wonderful app and you know it's one of those apps that if you're not sure how it works i'm sure roberto or um certainly bevy a bunch of us could help out um i wouldn't say i'm an expert but i use it for sure so that that is one of my um favorite apps does anybody have any comments or questions about that I have a question. Can you tell us how did you get um, how did you get registered for those series? Well, I have to confess that I did. I happened to be on my computer on the Bard app, but I've yeah, I've seen it on. But I think I've heard it on the um, Bard mobile app. And all I did was I just when you find um, sorry a book you're interested in, if you uh, click on it right away, it'll go to the author if there's a series you know different the reader you know you can choose and so if you click on series then it will give you all these options about the series you can subscribe to it you can download the list you can do all these different things and i'm pretty sure i've seen that um option in, in the bard mobile but at any rate it's a terrific thing and um i recommend people uh, play around with their Bard mobile app more because it changes and it mm -hmm. gets more and more um, helpful and more and more intuitive and less person. My word today is persnickety. I've decided it's, you know, it's not, 
So it's less persnickety if you make a mistake or or something like that. So that's my first app. Um, are you going I around and around? Wait a minute, yes, I have a question about Bard Mobile. Um, there's a four, four letters after some of the book titles that I don't know what they mean. ACLT? Something no. like that? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, something O H I P. You know, I don't know. I don't remember what the letters are. But does anybody know what those letters are for? No. Oh, okay. And you know what? Well, I out. decided by the. I was doing it contextually. Um, but there's something like I know it's C L T, and there's another. There's a vowel before those after books. Um, that are say adult in nature, not not. Um, you know, porn, but, but, you know, there may be Roma romance, there may be adult subjects. Um, and I noticed that it's like, uh, you know, a, a warning. And I think there might be a symbology for if it's a, a, a religious book, they, they also have those um, there. Um, mm -hmm. And I, and I think it's, I think it's a weakness because those should be keyed in a way that we all know what they are. So I right, will when point. you go down the list of um it, either on the Victor Reader or the Bard, it tells you what the um what the book is, you know, what what kind of book it is, okay. whether it's mm -hmm. a history or a, or you know, religious fiction or whatever it is, Christian fiction, whatever it is, it tells you. Mm -hmm. It does but, tell you, but these initials at the end yeah. are, are like a secret handshake. <laughs> yeah. are those links or not no, no they're not no links. they're just after is, the is it, yeah it's four letters it used to be three letters and i think those were came from the mormon collection but now it's four letters and i have no idea what they mean so okay sorry <laughs> no don't I'll be sorry we want to find out yeah if i find out i'll let people know there you go. Thanks, Thanks Perla. Any other questions for Pat, Patty for that? No, okay. What, what else you got for us, darling? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, while well, I was at the store. Um, well, <laughs> one, of, one of the other things I would encourage people to do, I know, Bevy, you've been talking, you know, recently, and maybe this is Holly's going to bring up the Inno search. AI thing, but I also believe that the Amazon um, shopping app that's on your phone has become much more accessible. And there's even a tab on the bottom now for uh, your cart, which I, I don't know, when I first tried to use that app, I was like, but where's the card? You know, and <laughs> like, I couldn't get to it. It used to frustrate me. I spent, you know, way too much time trying to find it. But they seem to be giving you, again, more options to do voice searches, um, to look at your shopping history if you just want to reorder something. It feels, and and it's geared, of course, because they they, you know, they know you, they know all your sizes, they know what you like, you know, it's the overlords, but they do, they do let me know what I have gotten before. And I, I guess I appreciate the, um, the fact that they uh, are gearing it toward my shopping um, favorites. So I, I, I guess what I'm saying is check out Amazon shopping again, because it really is better just as audible the major audible app and then i'm done is always changing and it never gets better <laughs> mm. the, there are two different ones there's the audible app that you can download and it's just for reading or if you buy books with uh uh the little tokens you you, you can purchase uh credits um and then there's this the behemoth the giant one that you have to sign into. It's also an app on the phone. So I have two different Audible apps. And um, the simpler one where you just read, again, you can purchase a book with a credit, but you can't buy it with a credit card. So you got to go to the big house and and good luck you here there. <laughs> because it is, um, it, it's, 
it's not obvious. Exactly. No. So um, those are my three three things. Well, can I add something? Sure. Um, hang on to that information about Amazon and InnoSearch because I think it's January, right, Bob? We're going to have a tips and tricks about shopping. Right. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> And by then we'll be shopping experts right. and broke. <laughs> yeah. Let's face it, you know, that's the beauty of um you may be blind, but we all still shop, don't we? Yeah, exactly. Can't keep us down <laughs> from that one. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> and I'll just add it's an area that I'm not very experienced yet in. And so definitely this is helpful. And I'm looking forward to getting more skill in it. So thanks for the tip on Amazon. Patrice. Sure. That's great. So do you have any favorite podcasts? Me? Um, yeah. No, that Bob, he does all the podcasts and then tells me what to listen to. And then I do. Um, <laughs> I used to, <laughs> he's my source. I used to, um, you know, I used to use Apple this quite a bit because I have, you know, I'm using all the Apple uh, technology. But apparently that has gone by the way of the dodo bird. So mm -hmm. um, if anybody knows anything about that, I'm, I know I can still get information from other sources, but um, I used to love that because they would just pick out things that were recent developments and, you know, let you know, even with updates for your, your phone or whatever. And um, I'm sorry that's gone. So. I do know he sent out a letter. Um, uh, saying that um, that Apple Viz had to kind of taken over his life and was causing him a lot of stress in addition oh, okay. to that because he was getting all this negative stuff coming at him and he oh, decided man. that he he had a life and he needed to um, you know spend more time with his family and making financial uh, you know, better financial uh, mm -hmm. opportunities, and he was very sorry, but had to go. That's uh, thank you, uh, Jonathan thank Moses, you for last both podcast that is on our Victor readers that he has. I haven't listened to it yet, but he has a podcast with him. Okay, yeah, great. Thank you, Betty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I heard about some encouragement, and I think but some encouragement for them to donate that very wonderful site um, and not let it just go defunct. So I'm, I'm not sure what's happening at all. With no, that. I've heard that too, but yeah, people, it's just, it's kind of all talk right now. Sure. Yeah. Yep. I am on a list of people that are trying to fill in, but I, I wouldn't recommend it at this point. <laughs> I'm not getting anything out of it anyway. Why? What you're talking about. I can feel the same way. Yeah. yeah. What What are you talking about? There's a There's an email list that has has come out that you can get on. That they're they're trying to fill in for Apple Viz, but it's really not working very well. It's really not even worth mm -hmm. up to see what it's about. It just um, it's just not there yet. Mm -hmm. Well, who's next, Kata? Okay, next we have, on the screen, we have Perla. Oh, me? <laughs> yes, That's you. you. That uh, you. <laughs> okay, well, I um, half of my life I spend on BARD. Um, so that's a big one for me. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I, I use the Apple Podcasts and... Um, that is not easy to um, manipulate either. I have learned some things about um, how to use it that are more helpful. Um, you know, that if, if you just want to keep up with the, the daily uh, updates, there's um, the first tab. And then if you go to the third tab, 
then uh, you get the the podcast that you've signed up for, and um, and you can look at all, and you can pick the one that you want to listen to that day, and um, you can, and then there are ways of saving the ones you really like. I saved a couple from Apple Viz before they disappeared. I, I wonder if they're still there. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's not that easy to use, but it is the one that I use. I know that there are others, but um, I just I just find it easier to stick with one and um, <laughs> and try to, you know, be thorough and efficient with one instead of I I used to download like every app that would come my way but now I'm I still have hundreds of them on here but um <laughs> you know I try to stay with the ones that that seem to work the easiest for me the one that is a mystery to me at this point is the music app because I don't subscribe, mm -hmm. but, you know, you should still be able to get international radio, which I used to listen to. And um, uh, so uh, if, uh, one of these days I'm going to, I'm going to work on that one, but right now I have other projects in mind. You know, so Carla, this is Patrice, you know, I, I also find the Apple music app um, frustrating because it is often again updated and um it's not clear uh what you're supposed to do for it mm -hmm. and i um and i think that'd be interesting maybe we can do some uh maybe even roberto can offer a class in some of those things because that that app is is not very responsive um eric mm -hmm. hates it he he joined amazon music because he says it's just so much easier and there's so much more so mm -hmm. he has a, a subscription. My question for you, though, sorry to interrupt you, but did you have to pay for the Apple podcast? Is that a subscription or is that just no. free on your phone? No, okay. it's free. No, it's free, free on, on the phone. On your phone. But here's a lot of podcasts now are doing this Apple Plus thing oh. or, you know, this Plus thing that and you have to be really careful when you hit the buttons, because instead of just doing fresh air, you could hit the fresh air that you that charges every uh, month, and you know get, you get extra stuff and and uh, um, all these other you know and and no ads and stuff like that. But man, if I subscribed to every podcast that I listen to, it would cost me hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be crazy. So you have to be careful not to hit that plus because Harvey did that once and then it's like, why am I paying for this? And that was why. <laughs> One way that I, uh, the only way actually, well, since they made the um, music app different, the way that I've used it, if I want to hear a particular song, then I just ask Terry to play it, and then she does. But I don't, I don't spend the time on the, I read so darn many books, <laughs> I don't spend the time listening to music. So. Mm -hmm. oh, or I use the Google HomePod or the Alexa HomePod, one of the other so, mm -hmm. but I know sometimes if you have a song in mind, you can just ask Siri to play it and that, that can happen. Yeah. Well, I have Amazon music too, uh, but I haven't spent a lot of time, you know, looking at it. So maybe I will do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Thanks it's personal choice. Um, you know, he just, he just didn't like the way um apple you know was sort of pushing you one direction or the other and and that um they were charging more and you know they were a little gougy so he just yeah yeah he just jumped off and went went the other way um and because eric 
gets so much music. I know I'm the professional musician, but he, you know, he's buys a ton. He still buys CDs that come in the mail. He's still, you know, he's, he's just has so much music. It's unbelievable. Plus um, you get serious sex in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, he's, hmm. yeah, he's, he's wired, let's say, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, uh, the other thing I think that, that with podcasts that I have been doing is I've really been on downloading them to my, or looking for them on my Victor reader first, yeah, because too. it's so easy um, mm -hmm. to maintain them and get new, new ones. I mean, it's just, you know, it takes you maybe five minutes to figure out how to do it and then bingo. Or if you aren't that familiar, someone can probably, you know, talk you through it or who is using it, but boy, I, I know there are a bunch of things on my phone, but I really like using my Victor for those podcasts. Yeah, there's uh, one person that my son really likes listening to, and I know he's on Apple, but I thought, I'm going to do a search for him on the Victor Reader podcast, mm -hmm. and sure enough, now I have him. <laughs> well. Yeah, well, I don't have a Victor Reader stream. Does everybody else have a Victor Reader stream? Uh, well, who's everybody else? Know about everybody but um the three of us do that are sitting here i'm a happy owner new owner of a victor three yay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have one so obviously one. so there's four yeah. of us yeah don has one too yeah that's five i don't know. roberto do you have a victor he's not talking mm -hmm. he is on mute and Patrice, I totally agree with what you shared about it being so easy to read and enjoy podcasts on the Victor and, and manage it. Yeah. I'm just learning how to do that with that. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Yeah. yeah. yeah you I know what? I, I, I don't use the Bard mobile app or the Apple podcasts. Yeah. Uh, I, I just go to the Victor. Victor is my go to place yeah. for mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it, it's interesting. And it listening to the radio as well. Yeah. Yeah. The international radio. Gosh, the, the, when I showed um, Crystal Morris that option with German radio stations, she was like beyond the moon. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's good to tell. Erla, that's another thing that Victor Reader has. It has the international radio. So mm -hmm. um, if and get it on Apple Music. You can get it on the uh, Victor Reader, oh, and it has TuneIn Radio, and yeah, and mm -hmm. one and more. FB Newsline. Yeah. By yeah. the way, Bevy, you're correct. San Cruz Sentinel is not available right. uh, for NFD. I check. Right. Yep. But uh, Perlin, you know, if you want to get, uh, um, listen to, uh, you know, um jazz in New York or classical New York, you know, stations, things like that, where they're really playing, you know, something like the blue, the blue Danube over and over again. Um, it's really, you know, it's really nice for a change. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do Spotify as well, but, um, or something like that. Um, but yeah, that international radio thing is good. I never use it, but I know I have it if I want it. So that's good. <laughs> well, I used to have, I have it too on on uh, the Apple Music, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. really annoying. Well, with the with the Sorry. Victors, you can uh, with the radio, you can um, put them to what they call your favorites list. Mm -hmm. And so, when you toggle through the radio stations, one of the stations will come up, and it will say favorites, and that's anything that you basically bookmarked and put in there. And that way you can get to your stuff faster by having you do mm -hmm. things. Yeah. You also have Bard on there too, Perla. So you can listen to your Bard books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Bookshare, if you have Bookshare. Yeah, I do have Bookshare, but I haven't been yeah, listening to it that much. Yeah. And you can get a free Victor Reader stream too from... In LS. Uh, yeah, as a loan, I know. Yeah. For a year, right? I mm -hmm. I heard it's actually indefinitely that they haven't asked for them back. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
they don't have Bluetooth where the threes that are out now have Bluetooth, which is, I like, I was helpful. Mm -hmm. But the speakers are much better on the three than they were on the two. Much better. Well, you know, that Bob and I were talking about that. And not, I think we're, we're in the, this is what they call in a meeting, we're in the weeds. Um, however, um, if you if you're listening to it without earphones, the new Victor, and it's on very loud, it does it isn't distorted. The sound doesn't get sort of wanky and wanky. Yeah. No, uh -huh. yeah, wonky <laughs> and, and uh -huh. distorted. So, um, but I think generally speaking, um, it's just handy because it's dedicated. You know, it's you're not having to wander through all the visual stuff to get to your stuff. So it's. You know, it's 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 a mainline kind of. It also event. has the um, notes on it, which is a recorder, and but none of the buttons are marked, and so if a sighted person were to pick it up, they would have no idea what does what, and so for that reason, I have on the notes put um, passwords and credit card numbers and um, stuff like that that I. I need to remember, but where do I put it that it'll be safe? And so that's where I hide them. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, so we have to do is get a hold of your phone and then we'll have yeah. everything. That's right. <laughs> or your victor, rather. You can go <clears throat> yeah. Just hide that from blind people now. You have to hide your victor <laughs> from us. <laughs> so now if you want to buy a victor reader, <laughs> they're not cheap. They're not cheap. And, and I will add, because I've been really putting my nose down to learn Victor, that I was on my phone in BARD. And I, for me personally, it seems easier to uh, search out books and add them to my wish list. Yes, and and then, yeah, yeah, I do the same thing. And then from my Victor, my wish list is there. It's just so easy to yep. have the download. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do that too, Holly. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, okay. I do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it works great. So, Perla, did you have any other favorite apps? Well, I do, but, you know, let's let some other people talk about theirs. Oh, well, we were going to, each person could bring three if you want to. Uh, oh, well, um, I guess it'd be my eye, be my AI I've been using to mm -hmm, yeah. um, wow my sighted friends with what it with the way it describes things yeah <laughs> um that's been that's been helpful um so that that's you know so i use uh i use a lot of words use a lot of uh let's see what else do i use i'd like to have holly add to uh, be my ai what you told me last night about the um sunsets about the, oh, I am so loving that app. So our kids have been traveling this summer and camping up the coastline, and they've been taking photos of these incredible sunsets up Oregon, et cetera, sharing them to me in a text message. And I just share it through Be My AI, which gives me the description of it in absolutely magnificent, it's like, it's the best sunset I've ever seen in my whole life. And all of the mm. colors and the streaks, the wispy streaks and the ambiance that it creates, and mystical, you know, depending on the time of day. There was another one that there were uh, waves crashing with luminous, luminescent uh, green and white foam against the rocks. I mean, it was just incredible. Yeah. I, when I was sighted, I never saw sunsets like that. <laughs> so that's been really, really fun. Yeah, you want me to tell about the ant story? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the mole. <laughs> oh, the mole. I use, I use, I use seeing AI and being my, be my AI throughout my day, just my buddies. And so the be my AI, um, well, I'll just tell the mole thing. We've recently had ants in the house and my husband at night is doing Mr. Ant Control. I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and I get up earlier than he does so when I go into the kitchen I want to make sure that I don't have my little friends all over so I've been taking pictures of the island and then I say are there any ants on this island and the AI says no I don't see any ants and I add a picture and I do this counter and I ask the question 
to make sure I'm clear, this worked great. This works just amazing. I could have called the site a volunteer, I know, but I was just trying to see what it would do for me. Um, and then mold cheese. Cheese gets moldy, especially if you don't eat it very often. So taking a picture, is there mold? And asking the question, is, is there any mold on my cheese? And sometimes it's not really sure, and it makes the recommendation. You might want to call a sighted volunteer on that. So mm -hmm. I, just, I love that app. So one thing that really is helpful, I think, for everybody is that if different people have, such as this one, the AI, um, different things that they use it for, it would be kind of cool um, for everybody to just kind of share what do you use it for. Like, for instance, I thought, what color are these sandals? And so I put them on my bed and took a picture of them this morning and they were brown. So I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to wear brown ones. And so I went for another pair. <laughs> yeah. Um, does anybody else have anything they use it for they want to share? Hi, I'm Andrea. Really quick, for those of you who don't know me, I I'm also Roberto's wife. I'm also <laughs> legally blind. <laughs> Um, but I love, love Be My AI. It's been such a wonderful tool. I never thought of asking if, if there was mold on something, but you gave me a great idea. Thank you for yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate it. Uh, what I do use it for, my daughter, right now she's, she's a little girl, so she does a lot of drawings, and she's just like, here, look at it. I'm like, okay, let me... Let me run this through Be My AI, and it describes the art, and it does a pretty good job. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's perfect because it is kids' drawings, but it's it does it good enough yeah. for me to have a whole conversation with her. So awesome. I definitely love cool. that new feature. Love that. Mm -hmm. And it's great for using outdoors, like uh, in the garden. And it'll describe in absolutely minute detail um, what it what it sees. Um, you know all the different flowers and the, the leaves and the coloring on the leaves and the ground cover and um, it it it's really fun to um, take pictures out outside with it and have it describe the images. And then I've had a sighted person look at the image and then listen to the description and they go, yeah, that's pretty good. Or you know it might say it missed one thing or another um and when it when it when they told me it missed something i then asked it said can you tell me more about the leaves on this lily and then it focused in on that and it when described that and then the person says yep that's what i wanted to hear that that's that was an important feature that it didn't mention the first time around but um, it's fun to use out in the garden um and as most of you know i use it in my shop all the time i use it um, I have all my handyman projects. Uh, I use it a lot for identifying colors. Um, people are, are um, my sighted friends, neighbors are um, amazed that, you know, I'll, I'll do any electrical work around the house. And so I, all I need to know is that I have the same color wires connected to the same color wires. And so I use the this uh, Be My AI to look at the the um, wires and tell, tell me what color the wires are so that I, I know where everything's hooked just up. Just so you know, everybody, John, John just joined our meeting. Hi, John. Hi, yeah, John. Yeah, I had an appointment at uh, 12 to 1, but that's okay. Yeah, we're we're in the middle of it, so. Um, anything yeah, else that you use it for, you thought? What's that? Um, well, like um, Holly said, I use it a lot to wow my friends. Yeah, it, 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 it's, a, it's a fun one to, to show off with. Yeah. And another one that I like, in fact, um, Perla, we're, we're going to have a, um, an AI um, coming up. Um, I'd have to look at the newsletter. So so when you get this, this uh, month's newsletter, the September newsletter, uh, in the tips and tricks, it has what's coming up, the schedule of what's coming up. And one of the ones that's listed in there is AI, where we're going to go through. Um, uh, like Roberto, it's primarily going to be you, but <laughs> but, but um, it's it's all all about uh, all the different AIs and and what they can do and 
Um, yeah. And if necessary, we, we can bring in some other folks um, on the AI. One other one that's that I like a lot is just kind of fun. It, it does the exact same thing as um, Be My AI, and that's the Pixie bot, P I C C Y oh. bot, B O T. Um, it's just fun the descriptions that that will give you back. Really? Um, you I can never heard of that one. You can adjust the, uh, they call it the personality. And so it'll give you uh, like a casual, Rather, rather than just describing to you know, this is this has been a discussion in, in um, audio description for quite a while. Should should the uh, people doing the describing should they just tell you what they see, or should they try to interpret what they're seeing? And so, with this personality uh, feature, it will do more um, interpreting of the image. So it might say, you know, if you take a picture of your living room and um, It'll say, oh, they've got these lovely green plants. It, that seems like that'd be a lovely place to sit down and have a cup of tea. Or look, mm -hmm. there's all the books on the bookshelf. I'd love to sit in that chair and, <laughs> and, and, read, and read a book. So it's a more conversational style. So it's just kind of fun to turn that one on and play with that one. We need um, that one right now. <laughs> so um, that, I think I heard about that one on a Double Tap. I was going to mention that as a podcast. Does everybody know about Double Tap? I do not. Holly does a little bit. Yeah. I okay. Know. Yeah. So it's um, these two guys, and they do a daily podcast now about um, different uh, things that come up, you know, you know uh, that uh, for people that are. Uh, visually challenged or blind, um, they are not American. I think that comes from the UK. And yes. so there are some things that are not relevant. I wish it were shorter. It's really long every day. But, but I think they mentioned that particular app on there, but I never looked it up. So you think it's fun? Yeah, I, I like the double tap. I, I don't listen to it. No, the other oh. app you were talking oh. about with the funny guy. Oh, the, the Pixie one? Yeah, that's fun to, yeah. to play. It's and Pixie? Pixie. P -I, they, they pronounce it um, Pixie on, on the, in the App Store. They pronounce it as Pixie. But when you, I listen to a podcast from the guy who developed it, and it's actually called Picky, as in picture. So it's Picky Bot is what he intended it to be, <laughs> but all the all the uh, the voiceover things pronounce it as Pixie, but it's P I C C Y, B O T, and it's just available in the App Store. Awesome. And it, and it's pro um it's probably also available on Android. I'm pretty sure he has it available now on Android as well. That's awesome. Oh, I'm learning all kinds of new stuff. Got it. Who's next? We have Roberto. If he'll talk to us. If he'll talk to us, yes. <laughs> um, he's having horrible connection. He apologizes. <laughs> okay. Then I think for now, we'll skip our app expert, Roberto. And we have Donna. Can I, are you Roberto's wife? Yeah, I'm also oh, I'm so Tanya. glad to meet you. I'll explain to this you all. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't glad been to one of these events in so long, but I'm so excited to be back and out there with the community. <laughs> oh, yay. And, and, well, welcome. And she joined Thank us you. on our uh, on and walk that we had down in the sloughs in Wattsville. Nice. And it was so up. much fun, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's great. Well, we got game day coming up in September, so bring oh, the Don't kids. tell me that. Oh, I'm very competitive. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, Don. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, okay. My question is, I hear that there's a, a plant identifying app on, on uh, iPhone, you know, Apple or Google or, you know. You know anything about that? That would be... The one that we use, uh, and I was going to bring that one up when we, I'll, I'll get to that one. <laughs> when, yeah. when it's my turn, I'll, I'll tell you all about that one. <laughs> okay. So, Donna? 
Yes. Um, well, I definitely am familiar with the Amazon app, and I like what Patrice shared about it being so much easier now to find the cart because I have to look at that frequently and make sure it's not collapsing under the weight of <laughs> what I'm buying. <laughs> <laughs> I've had boxes delivered to the door that I probably could have lived in as a studio apartment. <laughs> you have your own delivery truck coming to your house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that one I, I love because I love being able to shop too. And that's one thing I've missed a lot is going into the stores and shopping. And with Amazon, they're not usually out of anything. You can find something that you're looking for. So... I really appreciate that app. My very, very favorite app that I've been using a lot the last year or so is the voice memo. I absolutely adore voice memo for lots of different reasons. Uh, I'm part of a prayer ministry, and uh, I've always texted prayers. If someone's asked for prayers, I'll text them a prayer. And several of them said, I wish I could hear you pray. You know, if we were in person, we could do that. So I finally discovered voice memo and I've recorded prayers and sent to people who have told me that they really enjoy being able to listen to them over and over if they're having struggles. But mm -hmm. what I'm doing with it now, what I'm really doing a lot with it now is I'm realizing all the stories I have about family history. Um, I have several cousins that are younger than me that don't know a lot about the family that I grew up with, in my case, my, my cousin Charlita is my second cousin. My grandmother is her great-great-grandmother. And I mentioned to her once when we were on the phone visiting, you know, I could tell her stories about her great-great-grandmother. And she said, wow, that's incredible to think that I could know personal things about my great-great-grandparents. So I've been recording stories um, for her and for other family, as well as for friends, reminiscences of things that I, friends that I had when I was a child. I'm still friends with a few people that I knew when we were in elementary school. And they always say, you have the most incredible memory of things we'll talk about. I don't remember us doing that. So I've been recording stories to share. And I really enjoyed that, not only for myself remembering them, but to share them with other people that don't remember them and want me to share a lot more things about childhood memories and things like that. I and love story, Astana. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> thank you. I have fun with them. I really do. Um, and recently, um, I was at a, um, what would you call it? A conference. I guess you'd call it a, a conference where we got to hear a speaker and sing together. And speaking of Victor, you know, we know that Victor has the notes thing where you can record, um, I guess, forever. I don't, I'm not sure what the limit on the notes are, but I've recorded up to an hour on the notes. Um, so I thought I would try voice memo because I didn't have any idea how well voice memo or how long voice memo would go. And I used that for an hour and a half and it recorded the whole thing and never cut off. So. I mm -hmm. was thrilled to learn that it would go that long and the quality of it is amazing. Picking mm -hmm. up, because you're always thinking, you know, if someone's not on a microphone, you won't hear them. But I used, of course, I was using my, my phone, my iPhone, and I was amazed how well it picked everything up, even the, the people in the audience that were sharing things. So that made me love voice memo even more. I'm really excited to find other ways to use it. Not to mention oh. being being with somebody um you know that wants to share a story i can say wait a minute let me put you on voice memo and then i can listen to it again later sorry parla did you have something to share well i have, have another way that i've been using it um my friend uh kathy and i are working on spanish uh learning spanish and she bought this book that she really likes that um where the lessons are based on on these stories and um i was trying to figure out you know I, she bought me a book but you know i can't read it and i tried different things and then i came up with voice memos so she 
records the voice memo for each little story. And then we figured out this other system of how she can do, then she does a separate voice memo with the vocabulary. And then she does another voice memo on that lesson with uh, questions, you know, and answers to practice. And then uh, text them to me. And then I take them out of my texts and put them in my voice memos. And so, you know, and then I, uh, she doesn't know how to label them properly. So then I relabel the lessons and, uh, and I have a whole collection of lessons that I can practice in my so voice cool. memos. <laughs> it's really, that is it's really been ingenuity. a process. Yeah. Yes. Great. I yeah. That's a great idea, Perla. And I want to learn Spanish. So you just gave me a very good way to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can share the note with you. Yeah. <laughs> Donna? Yes. Um, on your Victor stream, the length of time that you can record notes depends upon the size of the memory card that you plugged into your Victor. So if oh. you have a really large SD card in there, you could go for days. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But now, if you get full, you can keep that SD card, put in a new one. Now you got a clean slate again. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. That that's a, a great you've cut me loose now. There's no no stopping me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a card bigger than the Victor. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sorry. everyone. Hi, Roberto. How are you? Hey. And there you are. <laughs> Sorry, just woke up. So, you know, long day. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so um, <laughs> I know where you were talking about favorite apps. Um, if Donna doesn't mind, I don't mind. Uh, oh, you're going to come in. Okay. Please. Donna, do you mind if he comes in? No, please go ahead, okay. Roberto. Okay. Um, so just like you guys, you know, I, I like those same apps that you guys just mentioned. Well, uh, I don't know what the one you're just mentioning, Donna, but or maybe I'm confused, but Either way, you know, be my eyes, Amazon. I like that Amazon has made those updates. Um, I do like myself is one of the games that I've been, I appreciate it is RS Games. Um, mm -hmm. The reason why I enjoy this app is because being blind my whole life, I didn't really get to play casino games. I was kind of left out in the realm of someone wanting to explain exactly how game, casino games are played. And so me being able to use RS Games has allowed me to experiment and being able to understand the rules and how it is that your betting goes with, for example, roulette or, um, mm -hmm. you know, poker. I didn't understand any of that until I started to use RS games. So th that's one of the reasons why I appreciate that game, especially because you get to play with other players around, uh, you know, around the world who are also experimenting, you know, experiencing vision, uh, you know, using voiceover or, are you know low vision blind? Uh, hi, this is Elizabeth, and there's an app that I use. It's called Sera S C R O, and it's six dollars a month, and it has audio described uh, movies. They they don't have the picture on it, but um, it has the sound and the description. So I am totally blind as well. I don't have any vision, so um. I just listen to the movies and there's also um, a TV programs on there and podcasts and have games on there as well. Um, I don't think they have poker, but they have like over a hundred games and you can play them with your other friends who are blind or visually impaired. Okay, Elizabeth, um, welcome. I'm glad that you're here with us. We're kind of going, taking turns for everybody to say their three favorites. And unless like that, you had something to add to what Roberto was saying, then that's just perfect. Yeah, that, that's good to Offered. know about the $6 a month. Uh, I know RS Games for the, when you begin, you get 10,000 coins, as I guess uh, the way they uh, look at it. So you get 10,000 coins and through all the casino games that they have, you get to spend. Now you want to be smart because if you bet, 10,000 
coins of <laughs> one hand then you know, their money <laughs> yeah exactly you could play one coin at a time so this way you're kind of prolonging before you have to start paying so you don't have to pay until you lose those ten thousand coins that's a good idea <laughs> yeah so play one coin at a time and uh, you probably would never have to uh subscribe but yeah, either way, that's one of my favorite game, uh, applications. And good to know, Elizabeth, about the app you just mentioned. And Roberto, I just wanted to chime in on the games. Um, if you can join us next Friday, not not this week, but next Friday, the, the 6th of um, September on Tech It Out with Vista, it's all about gaming, all, all accessible games. We, we have a, wow. a really good um, expert He's a really dry speaker, but he's an expert in games, so he's got a wealth of knowledge. You just kind of got to draw it out of him. But so, anyways, that's next next Friday, Roberto. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Bob. Are they just video games? Are they? Um, I know I have a friend. He has a, a Wii, and he he totally blind. I don't know how he plays them. Um, a Tetra and all of these like games he plays on his TV. So. Are, are they on the computer? Um, he's going to go over um, mobile devices, uh, PCs, and um, it would, uh, the, the other the other platforms like Xbox and um, Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, all those all those co console console games is what he calls those. And mm -hmm. so yeah, he he's going to. <laughs> We got a lot crammed in there. He's going to touch base on forty different games. Oh my! Oh gosh. wow! Okay, I'm going to be there. I love games, <clears throat> including Dice World is one that he's got on. There. That's on my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Roberto. <laughs> no, no, yeah, good to know that uh, that's what you're holding. I was planning on just jo jumping in and joining, but um, now that you mentioned it uh, about what the subject is, then <laughs> okay, you know how most you know most likely I'll be there. Um, but yeah, so that was one of my favorite games. I mean, one of my favorite apps. Um, other than that, I do like <clears throat> using Spotify. It's become more accessible. And the reason why I like Spotify specifically is because I'm able to kind of do something called crossfading. And so this allows me to do somewhat like a DJ transitional mixing. Oh, and yeah. So I'm able to um, kind of <clears throat> create playlists. And with those playlists, I'm able to add songs that um, more or less kind of go with each other and they're able to crossfade. So it kind of adds this tr nice transition between one song to the next. Um, and it's very, it's really accessible, at least from what I've experienced. It also has karaoke features. So if you're trying to do karaoke, mm -hmm. the music will come out on one end on the speaker, but voiceover will come out on the other end. So that is another fun feature that I appreciate. Um, and it also tells you when your artist is going to be hosting another, you know, um, live. So that's it's just, it's really, um, really friendly for me. And it just has enough information, uh, tools on there that I use. And what was the name of that? Spotify. Uh, oh, Spotify. Okay. Do you have to subscribe to that pay? Unfortunately, Yes, you do. I don't because my brothers pay so. <laughs> you can have it for free, but it has advertisements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have it for free on my Google Home app. So. Yeah, I kind of like the Alexa mm -hmm. app. If you don't have Prime, you can have some music on there, but they have lots of ads. Right. So do you, so you have any other favorites? Too many, too many. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, there's two. Uh, the other, the other app I like using is uh, called Orion. Um, I've been using this app little by little, and I've been using it either a to search up a name. So, for example, if I type in Roberto, um, and I grab my mail, it will tell me if the name Roberto is on that mail, and if it is, then I may be able to kind of like, okay, this one didn't say Roberto, this one didn't say Roberto. Oh, Roberto. Okay, this is my pile, my pile. So, you know, for example, with mail or medicine, like if it doesn't so Roberto for this medicine, then I know to kind of, you know, put that to the side. Um, and if I'm trying to find the door, for example, then whether glass or, you know, uh, depending what kind of door it is, it works so far. So I'm able to type in door 
And yes, I might end up running into too many doors that aren't for that specific building, but um, it's still friendly for the most part. Um, I use it for my earbuds besides using my own earbuds to find my own, you know, using the iPhone to find you know, my earbuds. I could use the app to find maybe that it's on the couch or it's laying, you know, this way or that way. I don't know. So just another fun favorite app that I've been using. Orion, Orion. Orion. is that what it's called? Yes. I had a download of mine, you know, <clears throat> we downloaded it and it works actually quite well. Yeah. Because not only can you type something, you can use your voice too. Uh-huh. Yeah, cool. you can say find find electrical outlet. Oh, that's cool. Yes, yeah, so if you're in like a hospital or you're at the hotel and you know you don't know where those electrical um, out outlets are, then you just type in outlet and it will look for outlets for you. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. So what you do you do? Like, you, ding, 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 ding. Open, yeah. you open the camera, you, you open the camera and then you give it a word and then it, and you can move your- You pan your phone around, yes. And oh, and it's a continual thing. It's not just one shot. That's interesting. Yeah, so it's it's interacting with your camera as you tell it what to find. Oh, like the other day I was at a hotel and I couldn't find my shoes. I finally had to have my dad come in the room and help me. But if I had that app on my phone, the wow. app could have found my shoes for me. Yeah, wow. so I'm getting that one too. <laughs> me too. Pixie Bot and, and Orion. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds really useful. Yeah. Do you have any favorite podcasts, Roberta? Oh, um, podcasts. Um, I haven't had uh, found a way to squeeze podcasts in. I do watch podcasts, <laughs> but uh, it's probably mm -hmm. not related to this. Yeah. So, Dr. Roberta, do you know? To... Sorry. Oh, sorry, Debbie. I'm sorry. I was just going to ask we... Roberta. <laughs> Okay, go. I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this is Patrice, as, as you all know that, because I'm interrupting. Um, Roberto, uh, how do you spell Orion? Is it just O, uh, no apostrophe, and then R-Y-A-N, or what? It it's got two O's or in it. Yes, two O's. So O-O-R-I-O-N. O-O-R-I-O-N. Thank you. Yeah. So, Donna, can we come back to you? Yes. Yes. Wow. Sorry. I like that Orion too. Yeah. <laughs> have to okay. Check that one out. Mm -hmm. uh, my mm -hmm. my third app that I love to use is Photos, and I love the fact that we can you know label them with descriptions on them. I like to share encouragements by texting people, and a lot of the um, encouragements are photos with writing on them. And I didn't used to be able to share that. Uh, but now recently I've noticed with the photos that have the writing on them, it will actually read what's on them. And I've, I don't know if that's an update or why it's changed like that because I couldn't used to be able to do that. So now I can check uh, on my photos and see if the latest one that someone shared with me will read what the printing says. And then I save it to my file that, is things that I can share to all of us and that can't see the, the writing. So I've really appreciated that. So I do love photos. And as far as podcasts go, I am totally un unaware of how to use podcasts with one exception. I've never found them on my phone or on Victor, and I'd like to learn how to do that. But the one that I get by email is I signed up for Trader Joe's um, they do a, a regular, like they called it a newsletter when they would talk about their new products and everything. And about a year ago, they started adding podcasts to that. So I love the Trader Joe's podcast. I don't have to look for them. When I get the email, they have a link in there for their latest podcast. And they talk about new products and also how to combine products to make new recipes. And the people on the on the podcast, I really enjoy. They visit different Trader Joe's stores across the country. Like sometimes they're in New York and they'll talk about different products they have. And so I do enjoy podcasts. I just have never really learned how to tune them in or, or find out what, what would be worth listening to. Guess I have to talk to Bob yeah. on that. <laughs> like the yeah. piece. 
Yeah. Yeah. I found so, in mine, um, if I if I get a message from somebody and it's got a picture in it, I only want to read it. But if you go uh, explore explore for a photograph, or I actually said an explore photo, you know, you can actually get it to describe the picture what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, I'll have to check that out too. <laughs> it'll say it'll say uh, not describe photo, but it'll <laughs> say it'll say explore photo, and you tap on it, and what happens is it'll describe the picture. Or sometimes it'll describe about you doing that. Just you know? Okay. Just okay. That from, on my phone, you know, I did it one day and go, wow. And sometimes I have pictures of my photos. They don't all do it, but some of them do. Like, I do a lot of uh, hiking and backpacking you know, recently, and I got a bunch of photos. And some of the photos in there that describe where that describe where it is and everything, where the place was, and like Yosemite, it'll describe uh, somebody standing there, a tree, and you know, or somebody, you know, it'll tell you everything, you know, about what the person looks like and everything else, you know. And which app was doing that? Uh, it's it, when you go to when you go to get a message, or it will, you, it will say explore photo, and you and you uh, you tap on that, and a lot of times it'll tell you what what the picture looks like. Oh, what, if if there's a photo attached in a message that comes to you. Yeah. Okay. It'll tell you what the photo is. To, but but uh, you you were saying you had these other um, yeah some photos of those, in your collection yeah some of those some of those are described and some of them won't you know it's pretty tricky but um, how how do you get the uh, photos from let's say your library into that uh, explore photos um, I'm not sure but I did it one day and I just have come across it. sometimes you describe a photo sometimes it won't huh. you know. Yeah, that kind of thing. I don't know, maybe it's changed. I haven't got on photos in a while. I have no need to use them. I got videos on there from from my trips that I took, like a friend of mine, you know, me crossing the creek, all that kind of stuff. So, so Kata, do we have somebody next on the list? We have a well, Andrea went, a Donna went, we have Elizabeth. She kind of went uh -huh. a little bit. So I think it's up to the people here in person. Or okay. Elizabeth, let's circle back to yeah. her to see if she finished. Okay. Um, I'm oh. like, I'm oh, sorry. I'm like <laughs> Al Alberto or Roberto. I'm not sure what his name is. Um, I have many apps on my phone. Um, I'm not sure which ones you guys already went over because I'm sure I have a lot of apps on my phone that you guys already use um but one of them is um when i walk especially i have a lot of bags in my hands i veer a lot so it's an app is called oko i think it's o oh, oh and it helps so you have to put your camera at the area the crosswalk area but it'll tell you when to cross the street and when you're walking if you're going out of the crosswalk, it'll tell you, um, it makes like a little beep noise, tell you, you know, that you're walking out of the crosswalk. And that helps me out a lot because um, I tend to veer out of the crosswalk and then I'm walking on the street. Um, so I probably use that app at least once or twice a week. That's good to know. I didn't, I didn't know Oka would do the... Uh keeping in the lines on the crosswalk. I've used it for traffic signals, but not for looking at the lines on the crosswalk. So thank you for sharing that. Yes. Can you spell that, Elizabeth? Okay. I... Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Do you have any other favorite ones or podcasts? Um, I don't really um listen to a lot of podcasts. I do listen to the Trader Joe's, because I'm kind of like a Trader Joe junkie person. I'm always at Trader Joe's at least once a week. Um, uh, um, I like uh, I guess it's called Zero XM and it's a music station. Of course, you have to pay um, to listen to the app, but you can put like 
I'll leave your sports and it'll automatically tell you the sports and and if you like music and they also have podcasts on there but I'm not really too much a podcast person I like to listen to the different uh, music or um, baseball especially uh, football is coming up so I'll be listening to a lot of football Any others? <clears throat> An extra for now. Okay. Bob? Well, it, I just wanted to, did uh, Andrea finish as well? I know she jumped in there on the one, but did she finish going through all of hers? Andrea, um, did you have others? No, it's okay. Um, I... I mean, I like all the apps that you guys mentioned, and Roberto took mine. <laughs> games. And um, Oko's a great one, too, just to explore um, your environment. It helps you uh, tell you when to turn. Also, I don't know if you guys knew that feature, but it's like a, it's a GPS map. Yes, I get yes. lost sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I love Oko. It's great. But no, I'm good. Um. I think you guys covered all of them. Okay, did you want me to mm -hmm. go, go you call me? Yeah. Um, just like everybody said, people have used some of the ones that I've had. Probably Be My AI is one of uh, my favorite ones. Um, I also use my Way Around app quite a bit. That's the mm -hmm. one where um, you can use tags that have the RFID um, in them and you can label a tag so you can you know we talked about that in, in our labeling class but yeah. but uh, so i i use i use uh, way around a lot for that one um i actually like to use my cvs app uh the portion of it is called the spoken rx and that's the one that can read me all my prescriptions they, they put an rfid sticker on my prescriptions and it can read me back um all of the information not only in the bottle but all those extra safety flyers or you can drill down and get even deeper into the uh, medications going I'm just going through, I'm just going through my phone real quick um I, I have this as an app um it's the blind abilities app um but that's probably one of my most favorite podcasts blind abilities okay. and um you can just get that through you know like the a lady you can ask her to play them uh, you can get them, you know, through all the regular podcast places you can get them, or you can actually use his app. Um, if you use his app, it has some handy um, features built into it. So, so you can navigate around within the, the uh, podcast a little bit easier. He'll, he'll do um, chapters in, in his podcasts. And so you can jump to whatever chapter you wanted to listen to but you can only do that if you're using his app. Um, but otherwise, the Blind Abilities podcast is a, is a good a good podcast. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, Amazon Alexa is, a, is another one that I use um, quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. You use that just like you use your one at home, your Echoes that you have at home or wherever. Um, plus, that's the one that interconnects with all my smart home features. Um, the uh, one that um, John was asking about, is, it's called um, Picture This. Um, is, is John still here? No, he, he, oh. he just left. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, it, it's, it's called Picture This, and that's one that um, my wife and I use uh, multiple times a week when we're out uh, hiking or walking. Um, so she can snap a picture of trees or shrubs or flowers and it will come back and identify and, you know, give a real lengthy description about the, the particular plant. Um, so we, we like exploring. Uh, it, it's, it's made our walks a, a lot more enjoyable. I mean, we've, we've walked forever, but now we have this tool that we play with while we're walking yeah. and it adds that feature of being able to describe um, the plants to us. It can also describe um 
like rocks. If you want to, you know, you see a particular type of rock or something, you can take a picture and it'll um, uh, tell you the, the type of rock that's there. So wow. um, pick, picture it. Um, and the um, uh, other one that I, I use a lot is Merlin Bird ID. That's another one that we primarily use when we're out on our walks. Um, again, it's added another level of enjoyment on our walks where, you know, you can hear the birds singing in the trees, but you may not know what they are. You certainly can't see them. And you use the Merlin Bird ID app to identify the songs of the bird. You just start the app and hit the record button and it, it will then listen to the microphone on your phone and it'll come back and tell you um, what, what birds um, it, it hears. Um, if you're able to see the screen, which I'm not, uh, there's a lot more features um, available in that Merlin app. It'll, it'll bring up a photo of the bird so you could compare. Um, you now my wife can look at the photo and say, yep, that's, you know, it got the right one. And it'll, it'll give you lots of information about the habitat and that sort of thing. And it, it, it knows where you are because of geolocation. And so it helps. Um, it's not searching the entire world database of birds. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it knows what's in your area at this time of the year. And so it, it's able to give you back the information re relatively um, quickly. Um, let me see what else. Um, I you know, have. Bob, I wanted to say thank you for reminding me. I have that on my phone. And right now, you know, I'm hearing birds, I think because of migration, you know, there are a lot, lot more, there's many more bird songs um, yeah. than, yeah. In fact, I heard one this morning and that I thought, man, I should have used Merlin because it was so yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, sure. Um, some of the uh, other podcasts that I listen to um, all the time, I, I, I'm a big podcast listener <laughs> of all sorts of genres. A, a podcast, uh, a lot of different woodworkers, woodworking podcasts that are out there. Um, a new one that I started listening to lately is uh, anybody who's like a fan of Conan O'Brien. He has a, a podcast now, and it's it's hilarious. If you like Conan O'Brien and his humor, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's fun to listen to that one. Um, and, but then um, in addition to the uh, Blind Abilities app, I like, it's called This Real blind tech show mm -hmm. and there's four um, hosts generally that are on on that show scattered uh, two of them are in new york and i think two of them are in ohio um and they talk about the latest in technology or what's in the news related to technology um it can get a little um colorful um, Colorful. It's not made for everybody. I guess you fun? notice I, I must listen to it. I think it's that real, not this real blind. Is it that, that, your, instead of that, this? Real, like, that, that yeah. real blind tech show. Yeah. yeah that, that, that's a, uh, the other one that I, I listen to all the time. So those are my favorite podcasts and my favorite apps. So that's you know? what I was wondering, Bob. Oh. things they talk about on blind ability but um you went over a few things so thank you sure now on blind abilities um it, it used to be just uh two gentlemen but pr primarily jeff thompson and um uh, his name will come to me uh pete um a gentleman down in florida it used to just be those two that made blind abilities, but he's opened it up um, and he kind of hosts other people's under his umbrella. Um, and so they have a, a program on there called Wellness Wednesday, and it's to two um, licensed um, uh, counselors, counselors <laughs> that, are, that, are, that are on there. And, and they often talk about, and, and both of them are blind and uh, they have uh, lots of in interesting um information that can, can be helpful. And then he has a, another gentleman on there. Uh, his name is Simon Bonifant. And he's kind of like this reporter who goes out to the different conventions or the different uh, tech events and interviews um, product developers and that sort of thing. So that, that can be fun. And then Jeff has his own interviews that uh, he does of different folks. So um, yeah, blind, blind abilities is 
one that I like a lot. And uh, another one, uh, I tend to go to the YouTube. I, I kind of intermix podcasts and YouTube channels. I, I kind of consider them one because <laughs> um, uh, like the blind abilities, you can go to the YouTube channel of blind abilities and it's just an audio version is all it is. There is no, no video there. Um, and an, another one that's there as a video uh, show and he also has a podcast, but he doesn't always record everything in this podcast that he has on his on his YouTube channel. And that's the Blind Life um, from Sam yeah. Seedy, yeah. and he's he's excellent on reviewing technology. He, he tends to get um, the newest things. Uh, the manufacturers will send him things right away, and and he he gives. Uh, an honest, unbiased opinion about things. If it's a piece of crap, he'll tell you it's a piece of crap. Yeah. He's, he, he doesn't, you know, have any loyalties to somebody who who sent him something to try out. So, so anyways, those are mine. Yeah, the blind life is one of mine too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, love them with the blind life for sure. Yeah. Um, are there any cooking apps that you guys use? Any what? Cooking. Cooking apps. Um, the only one that I use, and we're we're gonna talk about that next month. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Holly, <laughs> no, that's okay. Holly and Patrice and I are gonna uh, talk about um, our kitchen appliances um, and, mm -hmm. and cooking that sort of thing. And, and so I I use um, an app on my phone to control my air fryer. Yeah, and I have an app on my phone to control my instant pot. Um, yeah, but I was going to ask something. Um, does the Blind Kitchen, you guys who who follow that, is there an app or is there a podcast? That's what or I was wondering. A Bluetooth, <laughs> a Bluetooth is it just um, YouTube channel? How do you how do you guys um, uh, get to Blind Kitchen? This is Holly. I go to the app and. Uh, I have not yet found a podcast. I was thinking that would be very cool. Mm -hmm. I did find when I went through the app, they have an area in which they list some announcements. And it looks like she's linked up with Blind United, which I think is, mm, there's one down south, Southern California. I've not explored mm -hmm. it yet. I, I wanted to be able to listen to, but I had a scheduling conflict. But I got um, a notification because I'm subscribed to her. There's a place on her website the Blind Kitchen, where you can subscribe to like your newsletter and you get like, what's happening in the new products and that sort of thing. Okay. And I, that's where I heard about uh, that there was an upcoming uh, training she was doing with Blind United, and it was uh, maybe a Zoom link, and it was all about eggs, and I was bummed to miss it. So I would say go nosing around on her website. We can oh, talk okay. about that next month well, too. And and her YouTube channel, Patrice. Oh, you, you thank you. Brought that up, and that that's where you can go and get a ton of information. So her okay, YouTube channel. cool. And it's just called the Blind Kitchen, correct? Yes. Yes. Thank okay. you, Bob. Yeah. So uh, Elizabeth, I was going to say, I, I I think she, you know, she does sh shows, right, where she's cooking things and tells you about them. Um, I will look into that. Is that what? Be in next month, Elizabeth, and I think you're going to find a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, sorry. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's we're, a we're just, we're just teasing you for next for next month. That's so. right. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't, we can't share it's all of you today. You will come back. back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're, you've, you've, now we've got you hooked. <laughs> okay, Holly. Anything else, Bob? There's no, nope, that's it. No. Okay. All right. Let's see. And I am opening one of my favorite apps, Notes, as you know. And I just made <laughs> note. Um, I'm, there's a couple of apps that are kind of my brain that really help me keep track of things. And I would say the first one is Reminders. It's an Apple native app, and it's just Reminders. And one can create a lot of different lists with list names in it. I've done that, but I'm not using all of those, all of those uh, to use as I would open the reminder app and go to that specific list. Helpful, but I use this for my catch-all of my brain through my day. It's like I say, hey, S-I-R-I, -I, um, remind me tomorrow morning, contact Betty about 
mm, going for a walk, <laughs> right? And so it throws it on there. And then I say, um, hey, as I write, um, uh, cook a zucchini. Another one would be make hearing aid appointment for Bob. And, you know, just on and on, all these little straggly thoughts of life. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like we used to use a pen and a piece of paper yeah. to make a list. So this is my catch-all brain. And then I just open my reminder app. And I just keep really my working list is just my default list. And then I can see, oh, yeah, I, I did mail Peyton's birthday card yesterday. And I can double tap. And it goes away. You completed. It tells me completed. Nice. So that's kind of one of my just catch-alls for my brain daily through my day. Once, one thing that's really nice with the reminders, too, is you can get notifications. And it will ask you the day before, the hour before, the half an hour before, or whatever. So it, it'll notify you. That's what I need. Because well, otherwise, I forget to look at the reminders. <laughs> can I chime in on something? Oh, please. Because I'm I'm just use the basic function. I'd love to learn more. Well, well in that same vein, but not, not that part. Her, um, particular app, but um, with the A Lady app mm -hmm. and your Echo devices at, at home, um, you can create all kinds of lists and reminder lists there. And so you can be out, you know, in the field somewhere and use your phone and put something on that list. You can be standing there in your bedroom or your kitchen or wherever your Echoes are and say, hey, add this to that list, add this to that list, put this on the shopping list. Um, and so, so it's a way of having them all linked together in, in an easy way is using the, the A lady to I do like, all of that. I would like that. I need to do some refinement on my systems and we'll be talking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Because like, for example, like like my engagement ring, I lost my diamond out of it some years back. And so since then, the jeweler says, come see us every six months. I'll check it out. So I just ask... Um, on reminders, I just say, hey, remind me in six months, have a ring checked. And it's there, so it'll pop up in six months' time. Did, does anybody know on the A-Lady system how far out you can put reminders on that system? I don't know. I think it's I, about I a month. I haven't tried it. I was going to say at least a month. I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe even more. I haven't tried it for six months or a year. <laughs> But I don't get notifications. I maybe I haven't set up that portion of it. So I'll be I'll be thinking about that, Bob. Thank you. Because I've wondered about the oh the Alexa app. Yeah. It's, not can everybody it. hear Holly okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so thank you. That that re re reminders with her, she um gives me uh, a, a notification 15 minutes before every giant baseball game starts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. And and if I'm not listening, I'll hear it come in. I think, uh oh, they must have lost because it's it's coming in too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, we don't want to hear I, that. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> they won last night. It's okay. Isn't it amazing that we have these tools and there's not just one one tool and one way to do it? Mm -hmm. right? That's what works best for that's us. That's Apple it, for it, you. You, you know, it pays to do the same thing. Well, and that's, I really appreciate um, Bevy and uh, I guess Eric planting the initial uh, idea about uh, this tips and tricks uh, yeah. group that we've put together for the mm -hmm. Bevy's group together. No, and, we have. And it, it's this sharing amongst us. I mean, I've learned so, I've used a lot of these same apps that you all have talked about. Yeah. And I've learned so many other little features that I didn't know about. And mm -hmm. that's what's good about this peer to peer class that we yeah. have here. So it, I, yeah. thank and you. We're really for using this yeah. stuff. It belongs yeah. to all of us. <laughs> it is so yeah. good. It's a great I'll, I'll, I'll uh, give Eric a little praise. Pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Uh, next is notes. I've spoken about that in the past, shared about that. And I do like uh, my filing system. Some people use tags on their documents and notes and things like that. But I like the, I have one general one where I just put this and that, you know, iCloud. So it syncs with my devices, my iPad. But then I have this whole folder system here. It's so easy to create a folder. And they will then line up alphabetically, or one can drag them up to higher front or wherever you would want it. 
And it's just so been so nice to kind of keep things grouped together for my organization. You can make subfolders. Yes, she's subfolders. she's a pro on the well, notes. Oh, well, I, I I use it. I'm not a pro, but it's it's just been so helpful. Um, it's, and one example of projects. It's really great to have a folder for a project. Remember anybody who recited news file folders? Uh, anybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Right. And then we put them in the filing cabinet alphabetically, and we knew where all of our stuff pertaining to X project was. Well, I, I just, we just did a family reunion, and I had a folder, and I had all of these miscellaneous notes, little bits and pieces, so I could easily open that note, recognize what it was. Um, it, you know, and I even used got to use emojis, like on the one for all the sleeping arrangements, because all the people in bedrooms, and I, I got to. Have the blessing of kind of taking the reins for the admin of this, which totally blows my mind that I have the tools to do this. That's awesome. It is, it's just incredible. So yeah. there are 22 of us and I had a blast. <laughs> well, like, could you tell us how, so like if you just open the notes um, app and you record a note, how do you then get it into one of your folders? Okay. You use, and you flick up and you will hear, you can pin, you can delete it, you can move it, and then it gives you options of where to move it. Yeah, I think you can share it. Again, you would have a share sheet where you could share it to so and so on messages. I'm doing this from memory, which is not always perfect, but it's very easy to manipulate. So flip up. Or, or, but how, how does it, how do you name the folder? I think is what he's. There's, a, there's a, a button on there. It says create a folder, something like that. And I, I'm a dictator, so I find my dictator but dictator. <laughs> my dictator. It's getting late, guys. <laughs> oh, my brain is so full of great ideas from you. So the dictate button, I dictate in the name, I can check it, create a folder. And then uh, on a note that I might have created in iCloud, I can just flip up and say move folder and it will give me options where to move it all like through my folders. But I, when I was working in a folder for this family reunion, Clark family reunion, I created all the notes in there so I didn't have to move anything. It was just so powerful. It so was, so when you open a particular folder, then uh, let's say it was your reunion folder, then anything that you record while you have that folder open goes into that folder. Correct. So oh, okay. there is a there is a button, or I'll call it a button, tab, whatever it's properly called, I'm not sure. Um, I create new note, and so I double tap that. I dictate in my note. I can check it line by line, just like we do in VoiceOver, word by word, letter by letter. I can edit easily, and when I'm done creating that note, I hit done, and it is placed in that folder. And then I can pin things so it goes to the top of the list, and it stays there always. It's powerful. It's helped me a lot. Um, not for everybody. So there we go. That's notes. Um, cool. Any anybody else have any thoughts or questions or anything to add on that? Well, I think it's interesting, Holly. I'm I'm listening to you, and I use documents on my computer exactly the same way. And, yeah. and you know, and like Bevy was saying earlier, you know, everybody's got you know things they can share. And Bob said it too. But it yeah. it's so funny because I um, I'm just you know, I just uh, gravitate toward my Mac rather than the phone. And but the miracle is um, that because, you know, I can go to files on my phone and there are all my documents, right. you know, waiting for me. And, and recents is a very handy little little thing, you know, because I can, you know, the, usually my most recent document is right there. So I can go in and look at it. But yeah, it's 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 if you can get organized at all it's so it's so helpful isn't it see, see i don't i don't have a computer i'm not using a computer um so do you use a tag system on your document so you can know what category or what they're related to yes i'm well, i give you know i have a title for the for the folder if you will and then yeah. i can just you know um if i put just uh i can just put a document into that folder by you know by um i can open the folder and then just put it in there and mm -hmm. it, it'll give me the option 
So it's, it's very quick. And I'm a typer. That's the other thing. I think, you know, everybody's different. And so I'd rather type on that message than dictate it. That's whatever, you know, it's whatever you like. And it's easy too. And in the computer on the computer is that maybe the title of the folder is Vista Center, but then when you open it, then it might have game day tips and tricks, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. all these different things that are inside yeah. of there. And so then you go inside to look and see in that one. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an easy, especially if you're using the column system, you know, you just open, go right, go right. If you keep going right, you you know, you go deeper, 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 deeper. So it, it's, it's very simple to run through things. Um, but again, different strokes. Right. Holly, is the notes app, um, does that go across all of your devices? So if, if, yes. if you had a Mac, would it show? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So it, it's, it's keeping the notes then in the cloud or something. Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems to my iPad. I don't have a Mac. Okay. It's good to know. Yeah. And so basically, we're accomplishing the same thing, Patrice, and, and you're using your mm -hmm. Mac, mm -hmm. and I'm just using my phone because that's what I've got. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, but it's, but yeah, but it's, as I said, it's, it's so uh, um, particular to, you know, what, what your comfort zone is. So. Right. I, and I remember when I first started with you those many years back, 2015 in the summer. <laughs> oh, this is a piece of glass. <laughs> it's called an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. And to think about how far I, I'm going to say myself, I've come. It's just incredible um, about these tools. So, yay. Thanks. <laughs> um, oh, well, you know, and I've gotten so many tips from you too, because yeah. the thing is, we find what we like to use. And because we're using it, we become experts at it, you know, which is so cool. There, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is this is the much better way to be blind, isn't it? Just to be blind. How to be blind. Yeah. I function because we are not afraid to explore and we, we want yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. That's the it, curiosity. I come yeah. back to that every time. It's yeah. kind of critical to be curious. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this is where we are. Might as well do the best we can. Um, the next one, I got to get focused back on my phone. Um, okay. The next one um, that's meaningful in my life and it might be of interest to some of you is the Bible app. And it is used version. There's a lot of different apps dealing with Bible things on the app store. And I found this one, which is the big, big, big one. They've got um, a bazillion versions, a uh, bazillion, I'm exaggerating, languages. And you can do all kinds of study on it. You can, it works well with voiceover. It's got lots of different reading plans. I My favorite is Through the Bible in a Year, Bible in a Year with Nikki and Pippa Gumbel. I've been doing that for years. I love it. They have English accents and they're delightful. And it's very rich in content and I and it keeps track for me. And it shows me how many days I've missed. So anyway, that is uh, a good one. And I think it's listed as like study options audio. I wrote it down. I think it's you version. Yeah. And that wasn't at the front. I went to the app store. I bet you're right. It is. But that's not on that front line. And oh. so I opened it. Oh, no. oh. Let me just look in um, You use that one, please? Yeah. While she's looking that up, can I ask, does anybody have a favorite browser on their phone? I just use Safari. I use Chrome. Chrome. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying, I'm not a fan of the Safari web yeah. browser. I wish they, yeah. I wish they had a different browser. Okay, you can use Google Chrome on there. Yeah, I, I love Chrome. Um, honestly, it lets you zoom in. For those of you have who have some residual sigh, it does really good with voiceover as well. And surprisingly, it does really good with talkback for those who use Android. <laughs> so, thank you. Love it. Sorry, I lost focus. I'll be over and almost. I'm there. 
Okay. Okay, it's not going to get it to me. Anyway, it's, uh, it's one, it just says Bible and it's it's daily study and audio and blah, blah. Because so, there's so many. And then the next one um, is called Yuka. Y-U-K-A. Has anybody heard of that app? No. 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 Okay. It's pretty powerful. It's new to me. It is an app that we can use to check out our food products, many of them, as well as our personal care products, sunscreen, um, you know, creams, cosmetics, etc., for health safety. And it, they are totally independent. They're not connected with any manufacturers. There's no payola. And they have a database that is, mm, I think, 3 million food products and about 2 million on the personal care departments, so about 5 million products. Um, there's the app store said there were like 50 million users of this. Wow. So it's, and it's becoming more well known. I was talking with a, um, a doc about it just yesterday. We had our wellness checks and he said, yeah, I've been hearing about that. And it has a scan. It has a scanner on it. Um, and so the scan, the scanner is not totally my friend yet. I'm just learning this app. And so what I did, for example, on our milk, um, I had silk, organic, low-fat soy milk. And I turned on the, and I'll tell you the buttons, at the top of it, first of all, there's a, at the bottom, it's a tab structure, so there's tabs at the bottom. Let me just open it real quick. I have it, uh, Yuka is active app switcher, okay. Okay, so on the bottom, it's it's kind of a standard tab structure. There's a history for things I've looked at. Rec is recommendations. What they're saying is a healthier thing. So they're going to look at the chemicals in it. They're going to look at things that are a cancer concern. And they'll tell you exactly what those are. They will rate it on a scale of 0 to 100, 100 being the best. And they will say it's excellent, it's good, it's poor. It's if it's bad. zero, put it back it's on the zero. counter. <laughs> okay, so, okay, here's an example. I have a pot of, well, I'll just say it. I have a pot of set of dill, which is supposed to be good stuff, right? Um, hypoallergenic, um, really rich body moisturizing cream. I've been using it for years, slathering it almost head to toe at the recommendation of a dermatologist some years ago, right? And I know we're learning more and more all the time about things that are in things that aren't good for us. And so that was one of the first, that and my sunscreen that I uh, put in here and it came up zero. <laughs> oh and no. And I'm, oh my gosh. What? what? So then it, then it has a recommendation underneath that. It comes up with better choices, which I really appreciate. And I can... I think I can tap on them, get go deeper to find more information about each product uh, they're recommending, recommending. And then I think I'm new at this. Sorry if I'm not getting it quite right. I can put it on favorite list, something like that to explore further. Can you text me the name of that? Yucca. Y-U-K-A. Yes, actually, I, I can text you the app because I messaged it to myself okay. from the app. Yeah. It'd be interesting to run that back by your dermatologist and uh, see yeah. what your dermatologist thinks so, about those other yeah. recommendations. Yeah. It's so spelled Y-U-K-A. Y-U-K-A, yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. So the, the rec, rec is recommendations. What they're saying is good. Their scan. Okay, when you get the scan, um, double tap the scan up in the, I wanted to just kind of save you some time and headache by doing a couple of little highlights of how to start exploring it. Um, okay, up at the top left, it says flashlight off. When they, when doing a scan, you have to you double tap that to turn flashlight on. It now it says flashlight on. Oh, I can do this with this. You can hear this. I don't need my earbuds. Okay. Flashlight on. Flashlight on. Flashlight on. I double tapped it on. Default is off, I guess. Scanning something off. You want that on. Double tap. Okay, and then 
that bar top. Tap okay, the you, bar. Oh, oh, then you just kind of wave it around at your product. This morning, I did. Huh. Yeah. And don't count on it working, okay? Put the scan portion. And I think it needs Wi-Fi. Um, it didn't work in a store. I tried it once in a store, but it worked at home. So on the milk, we had this uh, organic soy milk. And it found that it was silk. It came out excellent. It gave me a score. It told mm -hmm. me why it liked it. It will say it doesn't have bad additives, that it's organic, that it's low in fat. It has seven grams of protein. It's extensive, the information. I then took my other, the other milk in the house, and it was Kirkland organic uh, lactose-free milk, low fat. And I, I waved my phone around trying to scan it, and nothing. It's like crickets, nothing. And when it does catch a little scan thing, it's just, it's not like a, like some of our products where you're getting warmer. This one is like, beep, done. And then we put focus on your phone and it will tell you what it captured. And it's basically, it's at the silk organic soy milk when it picks something up. And then underneath that, you can see what it thinks about it. It'll give it the score, the rating, and then tell you why. Uh, or, and, or it will tell you all of the evil stuff in there that's going to kill us. <laughs> right? Evil. evil. Like and so, 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 because I, I, and when I first found this and I thought about sharing it, I was only getting bad news. I was getting scary news about this stuff. I put it on my foundation that I have to change. I yeah. I told her last night, no, share it, share it. I think it's, it's good yeah. information. I, I think we need to know. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. just downloaded it. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. I was not building a day, I'm telling myself. So I've been I'm just recently just chipping away at, at these things to yeah. find. You know, to make healthy changes. Now, on the food, um, does the same thing. It's very cool. It has a. It has a a, a, a tab called Top, and I believe I oh, um, it is a free app. There is a donation membership donation opportunity. I chose to do fifteen dollars. Uh, that opened up another feature or two. It's optional. It's fully, it's really functional without that. But I thought I want to support their work because they're doing good stuff. Um, I, uh, and and then I think I read in the app history on the app store that if you get the app and share it with somebody, then it opens up one of these features. It might have been. Oh yeah, share it with me. I don't know. <laughs> well, I already have it, so I'll, I'll send it to you. You share it with somebody, and you'll have the. Okay. okay. So there's another tab. Top. It's called Top, and this is me. How's the volume, guys, of the voiceover? Fine. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it easily. Okay. Thank you. Oh, good. You're welcome. Okay, I'm starting at the top of the top. Top card. Button. I see. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to scroll down. Most wanted, 19 of 21. Okay, there's... Cereal bars. Button. Yours me and vanilla. Peanut butter. Button. Ice cream. Button. Yay. <laughs> Button. Selected food. Okay, I'm in the food category, and I guess there's a beauty category too for cosmetics, etc. Beauty, ice cream, butter, peanut butter, butter. Okay, peanut butter. Okay. Full progress. Oh, I may not be able to get it because it might be Wi Fi and I'm not on. Peanut butter, butter. in progress. Yeah. History. No, in progress. It's not going to let me. Anyway, um, it will just tell me what the top products are. So I looked at tortilla chips. Our, our peanut butter is good, organic Kirkland. It likes it, and it told me why. Um, I, I went to the top tortilla chip category, and I opened it, and late July, multigrain organic tortilla chips came up right at the top. Gave it, yeah, really? Yep, yeah. which we use, eat. So anyway, there, there's a lot here that I think could be helpful. And Do you know, does it have a like a pet food category? No. What a good question. It has, it's That's a great question. Yeah. So anyway, I think it'll be fun for all of us to explore mm -hmm. and, and to share with each other as we learn. Yeah, so, that's great. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. One of our grandsons, who's a, um, a real healthy guy and really earth, earthy, <laughs> he, he recently shared it. And I'm so happy it's voiceover friendly because it's cutting down a lot of time on research that I would Mm -hmm. If I knew that something was bad for me, it's like, oh my gosh, how do I find out? How do I find out what's good? 
So now I've got that. So I've changed the sunscreen. I've already changed all of our household products and cleaning and all that. So there we go. What do you guys think? Very cool. Yeah, I love it. Good. That one for sure. Okay. And Holly on mm -hmm. Amazon, you can look for bare minerals. They have like a tinted moisturizer I use. It has the foundation, the sunscreen, and the moisturizer all in one. And oh, what's it's on Amazon. Bare minerals. Bare minerals. Elizabeth. Oh, Bare Minerals. I know that yeah. brand. You, you know, that yeah. sounds, I think that might have come up as a recommendation. Thank you, because I'm in the process. I need to do something. Okay. True confession. Because I stopped using the that nice rich Cetaphil that's bad, zero, you know, I'm recently, I'm just using avocado oil on my arms and stuff. So I figure out that oil is probably good, too. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know a lot of, I, I use it even for massage oil when I'm giving massages. That's good to know, too. Thank you, guys. Of course, it I've never yucked it, but. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not. <laughs> yeah, is it yuck? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so those are from the last Betty, if I could do four apps and just two, two okay. podcasts, because I thought that would be more valuable for us. Um, oh, and then podcasts. I do listen to a lot of podcasts, but I don't think that would be of interest to the general, you know, group. Um, but I do, I did find America in the Morning for just a general um, overview of news. I used to listen to it at five in the morning on a local radio station when I was getting up and going. And, and now that, anyway, I can listen to it anytime. It's about 45 minutes long. It's just a little broad spread newsy thing. Um, does some nas uh, national and international. And I listen to other newsy things too, but that was kind of a, I like that one. And then my last offering is uh, a new podcast to me called Mystic Access. Oh yeah, I've got that one. Do you know that one? Mm -hmm. Anybody else know Mystic Access? Mm -mm. Yeah, but if, don't, don't you have to subscribe to it? Holly? Yeah, you can or get it, it on our Victor Reader. I just did. Oh, oh great. Okay. Yeah. So, so it is new to me and the way I, it, but they've been around a long time and it's a husband mm -hmm. and wife team. Kim is her name. Husband is Chris. They, uh, it's, uh, the podcast is rather casual in their bantering. They were sitting on their, the one I've listened to, they're sitting on their front porch of their country home for the summer and <clears throat> hearing the crickets and it's getting light and then you start hearing the birds. And they talk about how Chris stepped on a bee. <laughs> and they make a few cut. I'm sorry. And then they talk about this neat new paint tip. And then they'll talk about this robotic vacuum and do a, you know, open it up. And so a lot of access technology and blind blindness related tools. Um, again, I see to me, so I don't, I I'm, can't recommend or not. But I haven't listened to it, but they also have one on um, the new Victor Reader 3. Well, that's how I found them. Yeah, I went to. I heard that Mystic Access now has a free fifteen-hour audio training tutorial on the Victor Stream Three, and so I just got it uh, a week or so ago. It's excellent. Kim does the recording. It's she's a great trainer. I had no idea at that time she was blind. No idea she's professional, but very listenable. Um, it's in little segments to listen to. Um, Used to be there used to be a charge for their for the Victor training tutorials, mm -hmm. but that for some reason is now free. And then I started thinking, well, who is this Kim Nova? And then found Mystic Access podcast, and they had another friend recommend it. So that's again new to me, uh, but I I really really like their Victor training uh, free tutorial. So that's what I'm going to wrap up with. Okay, what's our time? Oh. We are 10 minutes till one. Ooh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So oh, I'll good. just quickly mention um, what I have. Uh, I, I went through, first of all, my everyday stuff, and I came up with two of them. And one of them, uh, somebody mentioned, is the Dice World. I religiously play Dice World every morning. Um, Another one is that I also ha have a Bible app, but I use the Dwell app, Bible app. And um, it's a paid one, but our church gives us, get, buys it and gives it to us. And 
it just has a lot of really good stuff that I like to listen to. Um, also, oh, the Chase one, because and we will in December have a tips and tricks on finances, but um, I the Chase one is super important to me because I have three of my credit cards are three or four are Chase. And so it even sends me in my inbox of it's time to pay your credit card. Hmm. And I just go to the Chase app and go down to the card and, you know, do the little tap here, tap there, and my bill is paid. It also um, gives me uh, information on the different accounts that I have. It also gives me a chance to um, change, you know, um, take from transfer, transfer money from one from A to B and uh, and then the, the one that's not in in the automatic is uh, Costco so I can go to pay bills and then go down to Costco and tap on it and then put that amount in mm -hmm. so um, it just it, it really 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 increases my independence which always makes me happy the more independent I could be the happier I am so um, that was one that I really liked and another one that I really like is the seeing AI um, I do, I also like the B, uh, B My AI, but the Seeing AI is really easy. Um, it, I just, I always have it on short text and all I have to do mm -hmm. is put it over an envelope and it'll tell me exactly who it's addressed to and who it's from. So I don't open my daughter's mail. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then if I, if it is addressed to me and I want to find out, um, I open it up and then just flip down one in its documents, take a picture. It, it directs me on over the top of it to take that picture. And um, then it automatically just starts reading it to me and I can swipe to go down further or, you know, get, I don't have the AI to tell me, tell me how much that bill is or whatever, but um, it, it, it's, I've used it for a long time for those two things and very, very useful for me. Um, you know, Betty, I'm sorry. I was just going to say to you um, that once again, this app has developed and gotten better and better and better. I just used it the way you described the other yeah. day, and I was so surprised at how easily it, you know, got you to take the picture and how easy it was just to read it, the document. And um, it's, they, they've definitely um, continued to improve this app. And what I really like too is that very first one where it'll just read, you know, whatever it sees mm -hmm. instantly. Um, and so from taking it, putting it on and going from that position down to the envelope, maybe it it'll might catch um, I don't know some something else that's on on the counters or whatever, and it'll start mm -hmm. reading that too. So that one for me too is that instant gratification <laughs> of um, finding out who it is. There was an, one of the, on the podcasts. Um, I just downloaded a, a one that I was happy to, to see. I think I mentioned it before. There's one, it's, it's Jordan Peterson uh, podcast. And my son lives, lives, listens to it every day. And his wife does too. And so I got it on there. And there, that one is, he's, uh, he's a Canadian and he is a doctor. He has his doctor's degree. Very, very, very intelligent man. And he has a big variety of people that he interviews and brings on his show. Um, and so you can, you know, you never know daily what it's going to be, but it it's just, it's not about blind people, but and blind things, but, um, but it's good information, I think. Um, and the, uh, Jonathan Moses one. What's the name of that? Moses. Jonathan Moses. Yeah, most. Yeah. What? Uh, blind? No. Um, oh, oh yeah, it's, it's tech. Is it A to Z? Um, no, I it's I um, no. You got a new. What is it, for? New name for a show. I'm trying to remember. It's a new name yeah, for a yeah, show. Living blindfolded. Yeah, yes, living blindfolded. Blind that's it. And so I really like that one a lot. Um, and it, he he interviews like I said he has an interview that's up I just heard about that he interviews the guy that was running Apple Viz so um, a lot of good stuff on that channel mm -hmm. um, and so 
uh, I, I, I really enjoy the different blind podcasts that I too can find out about new technology that's out. And the blind life is the one that I heard about that um, NO search. Uh, so, which I immediately called up Patrice and, and then called up Holly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is 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 anyone keeping a list of all these things um, these will be on the website the vista website under tips and tricks but it's okay. the it's the recording of this show but i think kat is actually keeping a list yeah. and if not i'll help her with it we'll put that in yeah the notes. i we have now a ai in our meeting so it keep us it let us keep track of a, a summary of the meeting and then what I do when I upload the video uh, with the help of Sophia as well when she's in the meetings, uh, we figure out what are the resources that were shared and we put the links in the video description. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying. Yes. Great job. Yeah, that's job. Awesome. Is there so, any chance of sending out the link to like everybody that's on your mailing list for the show? So we don't she, have to go search for it? She She has. Um, after the shows sent them out yeah she often sends hmm. here's here's a recording of our most recent show um okay because this one has a lot of important ones i think mm -hmm. yeah it's a good one mm -hmm. we can even have it again next year another round because oh there sure more apps to talk about and share with mm -hmm. one another so right right yeah awesome um, can you send that out yeah, I will work with Sophia because she has the mailing list. But yeah. what we usually do is she sends me the recording and the summary. And now I will have the summary and then I upload it to YouTube and send it to her. But if I miss anything, I know Bob will catch it very fast <laughs> and he will let me know, hey, you missed the link. <laughs> I'll make sure I have the link right there. Okay. All right. Great. Great. That's been a great session, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank everybody for coming. Keep coming back. Let's keep this going. Let's make it even bigger and just keep sharing with each other. Everyone is good. Three minutes. <laughs> All right. But thanks, thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.